Hi guys, uh, welcome back. So today is going to be a pretty short video. Now I'm just going to be discussing a few things here. It's not going to be much. Uh, just what some of these tabs mean like Reforge, Accessories, and Spirit. Just a few of these things. Um, I don't go too far in depth uh, with this stuff as I've not messed with it too much myself. But I, I know enough to be able to definitely help you get started on understanding what all this does for sure. Um, the reason I haven't done much with it is because really I'm odd in this game. I liked, I like to make the siege, the siege bow my main weapon. Uh, so there's not really much for me to do like there is on other weapons. Uh, siege bow is just, it scales off of the power of your the best weapon you have in your hotbar. It's, it's another thing I'll explain some other day when it comes to fighting, but uh, for today we're just going to be discussing uh, things like, okay, Reforge. What does Reforge do? Well, I now it said, now you'll see in here there's nothing, and I don't, I don't think I have anything to be able to show in here right now, uh, but you'll see the uh, different weapons. If you have the same weapon type, so this is a Kylo X bow, see where it says type here kylo x bow if you have any other kylo x bows they would show up on the right here and you would see uh all of them listed here well you would click them and it would show up another list here um i just got rid of all my stuff uh in the the smelter or whatever it is uh so i don't have any to show here i wish i'd saved it for the video um but basically, I have four slots here, and you'll see four slots on the other one. You can choose one here, and then click the other one on the other slot for one you have in there. And that will, you can choose to replace it. It takes calories to do it, uh, and you can up the power or whatever doing that. Um, I don't do that too much with weapons, as I find that I don't. I, by the time I get more of the same type of weapon, I've already gone through one weapon. Um, what this is most useful for is armor. Uh, so as you can see, it's got one, two, three, four, four slots. So that's four different attributes that I can put on this armor. If I get more armor, and that armor also has attributes, then I just go in here and I go to Reforge. And then I can click over here, grab some more, grab this armor that I got, and then um, I can click which one do I want to replace here, and then click on the other attribute I want, and then use the calories to replace it. Now it will tell you if your power is going up or down when you replace it. Um, now just because it's going up doesn't mean you want to replace it. So I have, I don't, I have it on my attendant here, so I'll show you. I use my attendant to store uh, different things, like like uh, items and stuff. Uh, here we go. So this attendant has this impure ring. Now I don't use this ring, not in combat, but I have attributes on it that are good for uh, gathering and mining. So whenever I'm doing my grinding, you know, doing my grind time, uh, I just take this ring off of my attendant, and this is what I use. Um, so it's not. So what you want to do is. You want to have a ring or you want to have armor or items that have like special attributes that are like uh, just related to gathering and just, you know, your grind time because you can get these. It saves you a lot of time and energy doing this. And then you want to have one that's focused on just attack um, because when you're when you put these. So, OK, I have this gathering one, right? If I was to take that and put it on this one right now i would actually be taking away from uh its attack its attack power the damage output i could be doing um so that's not what you want to be doing um so the next thing i want to talk about is accessories so as you can see i got two broken accessories you see the bottom left that means they're broken uh that are here on this bow um now i now you'll see a uh, long range scope, it'll say, if you don't have it, it'll say obtain. Uh, if you do have it, it'll say equip. Uh, so as you can see here, this one I have, and in order to remove it, I just click remove. Now, they you don't always have to remove these. Just because they're broken doesn't mean they're actually broke. Uh, what you have to do is go over there to repair and then maintain. Now, as you can see on this, the hardness is zero, so I cannot I cannot repair that. Uh, same with this one. So what I got to do is go back in there, 
Go back to accessories and remove. Remove. Those are just going to be smelted down. They're no good anymore. Um, and so I need to get some new ones. I, of course, I just, like I said, I smelted everything. I needed I needed it for uh, another video I'm going to be doing. Um, you'll, you'll see that coming soon. Uh, but yeah, uh, you just... These these are good for your regular weapons to do this. Um, for my, my siege bone stuff, this would be pretty useless actually. Uh, but for these weapons, it's, it would it is actually good. You could see what it does: accuracy, damage, distance, you know, armor pierce, all these things. It's trade offs. Um, me, what I like to do, go for is armor pierce uh, and um, range damage. That's what I'm usually going for. But that's going to be different if you're using. Um, well, not the shriek, and it would be something like, yeah, the impure royal swords. You know, you're not going to do range damage for, you know, a sword or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea kind of how that works. And then also, we have in spirit. So this one, this is where things get, can get a little bit more complicated. Um, so I could probably spend an hour just going over this, but I'm not going to. I'm just kind of touch on the basics so you get the idea of what's going on so it has a move here called sword heart and it says please select a rune well if i was to do that and i got some here now these aren't these aren't the right ones you have to be careful some of these only go on certain weapons you need to make sure you know which weapon you're putting this on um it would replace this that would be a mistake because I have two other empty ones. So you want to make sure that you either are putting your new move on an empty slot or you're replacing a move that you know you don't want. And the reason I say we could spend an hour on this uh, is because there are combos you can pull off. Uh, so I, as you can see, this has three here. Now, I believe it's these two moves right here on each side, the far left and the far right. If I use this move, it does the cooldown as well for the left one, if I remember correctly. So it's a little weird I remember using this, but some moves will do that. Um, but I like the uh, I like the combo that I got here going on with the, the tune and the strum. So what the the tune does is, is it kind of it's a healing circle but it damages the enemy as well if you hit the enemy with it and it lasts for a bit so you can hit the enemy with that and you can stop doing damage yourself as in like shooting with the pippa but that circle is going to continue to be do damage and so what i like to do is hit it with tune and then i like to uh jump up there's a special move with uh not strong but there's a spe so there's a special move here i like to do so do tune and then i'll do a jump and then i'll click the attack and then it'll bring me into the air it might actually be easier to show you uh let me do that real quick there's always a um oh, that's new i'll have to check that out uh yeah see there's always a score up so uh it'll probably kill it in one shot but i can at least show the idea so i hit it with that then i jump up click and then I would continue to hit and lock on. Um, so that's kind of like what I mean by combo. Uh, is that you're using your moves kind of in succession of each other. Now that wasn't exactly a move I used there that was like in a skill set. But you get the idea of how you could do that. Uh, and so that's why it's really important to understand how your, your different skills will work with each other. And, and how you combo them. Uh, because also you have to keep in mind cooldowns and... Just a lot of other things and what what weapon you're using. Just there is a lot to it, uh, but you get the idea kind of now of how that would um, work. Uh, and those those skills, those um, let's see, do I have any on me right now? I want to say I do. Yes. Okay. So these uh, these runes. So this is where you get those those skills from that you put on the weapons. Uh, these you were going to obtain. I've obtained all mine uh, through the totems. So that's probably the best way I would say to get these. The boss usually drops them. Uh, it's usually a separate drop from the chest you'll get at the end. So I've noticed that I usually don't get these from opening the chest the boss drops. But from a dr separate drop from the boss itself. 
uh, and it happens maybe one out of five times. Uh, it's not the most common thing, but it does happen enough if you continue to do those totems. Um, but yeah, that's how you get those. Uh, it's not guaranteed to be the one you want, so it can be a grind, you know, but it's definitely worth it to get some of those, especially if you have found a weapon you like. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is, uh, this is pretty basic, but I feel like I should cover it. Maybe it should have been the first thing I covered. Uh, repair. Uh, this weapon, oh, sorry, that would be the wrong... Uh, let's go to repair here. Okay. So you see where this says durability and hardness. So every time you use a weapon, your durability will go down, or it could be you use a skill and your durability goes down. It, it kind of differs from weapon to weapon, I think. Um, I'm not exactly sure what determines the durability going down, but that's just basically how you're using the weapon, the durability is going to go down. Hardness only goes down when you repair the durability. Um, so it, I don't need to do it on this weapon, but I'll kind of demonstrate. So you have mixed agate, fine agate, and rare agate, and you can go up each by combining them in fuse. Um, you know, it takes like 10, 10, or something like that um, to be able to go up. Uh, what I mean by that is it like takes 10 or 20 or so to go to, of these to go to like the next level kind of. Uh, but you can see this one repairs 660 durability, but it takes 5 hardness. So technically, even though it says uh, 700 or 800 uh, durability at full, uh, really you're going to get like a bunch of uses out of this. Now, here's the drawback. The lower your hardness, the faster your durability is going to go down. Uh, so just because you can repair that durability doesn't mean you're actually going to get as much back on it as you think you might because that hardness is going down now the reason that's the pure agate is what you want is because that takes the least amount of hardness away for the amount of durability you get now obviously these all take the same amount of hardness but the amount of durability you get back is a lot greater with the rare agate so it's it's definitely worth using that especially on a weapon you like now, eventually, your weapon will break. That is, as, you know, it will come time for that. When you break a weapon, put it in the forge. Uh, there's, I mean, there's nothing else you can do with it. Don't, don't destroy it. Do not destroy it. Don't make that mistake. It may, it may not be worth anything. Uh, let me see if I have anything. Like I said I just, I shouldn't have done this, but I was thinking of another video I'm gonna do. Um, yeah, you'll see coming up. But I'm not gonna destroy this. But you can see. It's worth these, uh, these these materials. You'll learn what these materials are, hopefully, tomorrow or Saturday. Um, uh, but, yeah, you just take it when it's broken, throw it in there. And I think that about covers everything, really, that you need to know with this. Uh, oh, Grant, uh, really quick, I guess I can discuss that. So it always wants me to do that after looking in there. Uh, attendant. Uh, so you can see, so... This attendant right here, I'm going to deploy. So she does not have anything right now. Uh, so what I would do is if I wanted her to have a weapon, which let's say I want to give her these impure twin blades. Grant. It's going to want you to confirm. But now she has those. That's her weapon. In order to get those back, you just go back in here, attendant, click that, take off. Now you have that weapon back in your inventory. This is wonderful if you have <laughs> these annoying cat paws in your inventory and you, it's just taking up space or you have something that's just taking up space, put it off on your attendant. Um, you can always take it off of them later and it takes weight off of you as well. But these things are the most annoying. I tell you what, they're annoying. You cannot destroy them. You cannot put them in the forge. You cannot trade them. There's nothing I can do with it. They're literally just cat paws. They, they don't do anything. Um, I guess they have like an animation thing, but I don't care for it. And so I just put this on the attendant that I'm not using uh, as well this, as this ring. So really, they're, they're almost like a, an extra storage. Um, but yeah, I think that that does cover everything. Um, make sure here. Yep. Uh, never, never destroy. If, if you can help it, unless you absolutely need to, never destroy. Always put it in the forge. But uh, yeah, uh, that covers everything. So I hope y'all enjoyed the video. 
Uh, please like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time.